Hi, Jason here from TGN Tech. All right. So today we'll be doing an unboxing of the latest router from Microtik. All right. Let's take a look at the model number. It's the RB five zero zero nine UG plus S plus IN. All right. So it's pretty small as a router. Okay. So you can see here. You can see that my two hands are very easy to fit it in. Okay. We'll be unboxing this unit to see what's inside here. All right. We just got it off from the boat. All right. So it's very very new and very very fresh. Okay. And I believe a lot of people have actually seen some of the videos from Microtech, but they have not actually seen the actual real thing. Okay, so let me do the unboxing now, and let's take a look at what's inside. All right, now over here, uh, we can see here as we are opening up. Okay, it's still very tight and very new. All right, so you have your instructions, your sponge. Okay, so now you have the power adapter. Okay, so in Singapore here we use the UK three prongs. Okay. And the unit itself, all right, it's very well built, very solid, and very sturdy. Okay, and there's a lot of um, fins, uh, heat sink. All right, so basically, it's basically for dispersing the heat. All right, so it's going to be a very hot router. Now, looking at it from the front, you can see that there's a very big button for pressing on the reset. Okay, that's very useful for some. All right, and it's using the AC power. Okay, which you see here. Alright, and also on the SFP Plus port, you have a 10G port here, a USB port, and also for the first time, a 2.5G LAN port on Wang uh, Ether1. Alright, so in total, there are 8 gigabit ports. Alright, so there's 8 gigabit ports, one SFP Plus, and a USB port. Okay, um, one thing that I noticed is that at the bottom of the router itself, okay, it's actually a metal plate. Okay, you will see that there's actually a layer of metal. And it actually creates an X as a kind of heat sink to dissipate out the heat that may come from the router. Right? Being that it's very very slim, okay, as you can see here, it's very very slim in compared with my finger. Okay? And basically you can see that they have actually squeezed everything into here, this small little router. Okay? Right. So let's move over. <coughs> Sorry. Right, so in this case, what is going to happen is more than likely you may need to buy an additional rail kit where you can fit in up to four units of this router on the rack. Okay, so this is one of a kind router for the first time we have actually seen this design. Okay, and it's going to be very, very useful, especially if you will have a data center or if you're going to have a rack with a lot of routers. Okay, so this is very, very uh, innovative, I think, I think, in my opinion. All right. So we will be definitely using this unit uh, in our own office to try out and see the performance, comparing it with uh, 4011 and see how it differs. Right. Now, to take note, this is a wired router. There's no Wi-Fi for this, uh, unlike its predecessor, the 4011, where there's the wired and wireless model. All right. So with this, I'm going to wrap up the unboxing for the RB5009. Okay. If you have any questions, please do feel free to leave us a comment. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.